our, our forces, our, our different assets are standing by to assist in, uh, on humanitarian tasks, um, but I don't think that we are going anywhere beyond that uh, at this time. Um, as for the question of um, Facebook and the greater and the great Mi greater Middle East initiative, the great greater Middle East initiative was an initiative of the last administration. Um, Facebook, I don't believe, had any formal part in it. Facebook is uh, a development of the free market and something that has spread around the world. And uh, it is, uh, you know, a, a technology that may have made some difference in terms of the rapidity with which people have demonstrated. But the bottom line is, is the content, it is the message of the people. And that is what we saw in Tahrir Square and elsewhere, which is, uh, you know, the uh, aspirations of people to have uh, better lives, more prosperity, greater um, say in their own uh, futures. And uh, so uh, I think that your suggestion that this is somehow a result of uh, a program that was discussed uh, by the last administration is, is misplaced. This is entirely about the initiative uh, of the Egyptian people, of the Tunisian people, of the Libyan people, uh, and it owes nothing to uh, outside intervention. Uh, we have at various times provided uh, different kinds of uh, uh, assistance to civil society, but this is really and truly about the aspirations of those peoples. So I would like to go back to the uh, question uh, about uh, possible uh, military um, intervention in Libya. Have you been discussing the, the issue with the, your Algerian counterparts or your Algerian partners? And what was the Algerian response to that? We did not discuss this issue uh, in, uh, in any uh, significant way. Um, we know about Algerian attitudes regarding uh, non-intervention, and this was a meeting about counterterrorism, uh, not about um, any potential actions regarding Libya, and so uh, it really wasn't on the, uh, on the agenda. We did not discuss the, uh, any particular individuals who are currently incarcerated. Uh, we did discuss at great length um, the efforts of different Sahel countries to uh, confront the threat of uh, AQIM. And in fact, uh, I was pleased to hear from my uh, Algerian counterparts their view that uh, the situation is improving significantly and that in fact, um, uh, some countries that have previously been criticized uh, are, are in fact showing greater resolve and greater capability. I would not say that we have any poor students. I would say that we have countries that are significantly challenged uh, by uh, the factors uh, such as terrain, uh, remoteness, difficulty of operations and the like. And our sense is that all of the governments in the region share a strong desire to work cooperatively and uh, resolutely against uh, AQIM and that the key issue is uh, developing the capacities to do so. Uh, this is a forbidding region, uh, very difficult to operate in. As we have seen uh, uh, from the history of uh, uh, counterterrorism operations over the last several years. And uh, so before we uh, go throwing stones at anyone for a lack of political will, I think we have to look at uh, just how hard it is to operate there and what we need to do to help these partners uh, acquire the wherewithal uh, to deal with it. What, what was the second question? One was about incarcerated criminals, incarcerated terrorists. 
uh, I think I said at the outset, we, uh, we did not discuss any particular individuals. The fate of Algeria is to be determined by the Algerians. It's really not for me to say how, uh, how uh, events should develop. Uh, let me just uh, echo again uh, uh, what uh, President uh, Obama said when the uh, um, uh, emergency law was lifted. Uh, we look forward to additional steps by the government that enable the Algerian people uh, to fully in exercise their universal rights, including freedom of expression, association, and assembly. The United States is committed to continuing our cooperation with the government of Algeria as it works to represent and meet the needs of all Algerians. I think that really says it all. The first part of the question is easy. I didn't meet with President Bouteflika, so I can't tell you what he said on those issues. You'll have to forgive me, but I didn't get the invitation. Um, <laughs> no, no, I have, I've never had the pleasure. I'm sorry, but I hope to. Uh, uh, as for um, your, the second part of your uh, question, uh, I, it sounds like you have uh, the tail wagging the dog. Um, the United States uh, is not seeking any opportunity to have a military intervention in this region. Uh, we, it is true that we draw up different scenarios and consider what our reactions would be. That, that is merely prudent planning, um, but it would be irresponsible to for me to say what the ca uh, catastrophic scenarios would be and what our responses would be. These are fluid, dynamic situations, and uh, um, you know, there's, no, uh, there's no benefit uh, for me to uh, you know, have a Hollywood sort of uh, uh, scenario for what the worst thing that could happen would be and what we would do in that case. That's just not responsible statecraft. You, you said before that um, the, um, you, um, given the situation prevailing in the region, you would avoid that terrorist would take uh, advantage of that situation. So with what kind of mechanism will you use for that? Uh, the world will be a terrorist in the region. And uh, about the situation where they are avoiding now, the effect in the Arab region, the compromise of West, all these philosophies, Just remind me what the first part of the question was again. Uh, uh, how does the, um, the oh, oh, the right. Terrorism. Well, it, again, it is um, it is early days, and uh, 
you know, I think we should recognize that the changes that we have seen, the events that we have seen in this region happened with absolutely astonishing speed. And everyone is catching their breath and trying to figure out uh, how events are turning out and what our response should be. I do think that on the counterterrorism front, we uh, do face a uh, need to uh, cooperate with our partners very closely to share information uh, about uh, any uh, attempts by terrorists to exploit this moment, uh, any um, intensified travel, communications, uh, movement of weapons, something that was suggested before. Um, I think that we will need to adapt to the circumstances as they develop. Um, <clears throat> we have a, an array of different instruments in counterterrorism and we will need to uh, use them effectively. On the question of uh, political Islam that you uh, raised, the United States, and we should be very clear about this, the United States is prepared to work with any group that is committed uh, to nonviolent, democratic, pluralistic uh, government. And, uh, you know, we, I, I make that statement full stop. That is the way it is. Uh, quite simply, we will work with those who are committed to uh, enduring democratic institutions, uh, to the rule of law, and to um, fulfilling uh, people's aspirations for universal human rights. Let me uh, just say, uh, in closing, let me return to where I began. Um, over the last two days, we've had the inaugural meetings of our bilateral contact uh, group on counterterrorism. I think that this is an important step forward for advancing both Algerian and American interests and the regional interests in uh, security uh, and the peaceful development of our peoples. And I'm delighted to have had this opportunity. These were very constructive discussions and we look forward to continuing them uh, in the future and to a very fruitful uh, exchange between the two governments. Thank you very much.